Okay, so this is our reverse osmosis water purifier that we just got. And basically it'll store the water in here that uh, it's, is cleaned and ready to use. This is a purifying system. And then it discards the water that is not pure. So like parts of the water that are um, full of chemicals and contaminants and stuff like fluoride and chlorine and other stuff that's in our water um, that it discards with some water and it goes they put a thing that goes all the way over here to the sink Oop. and it goes down here so what I'm doing is I'm collecting the water you can either just have the uh, wire in here like this so it just runs down the sink or I've been collecting the water and then reusing it around the house for different purposes so put a new one in since that one's full some of the things that you can reuse this water for are for doing dishes and for like filling up empty pots um, that have stuff on the bottom like for soaking dishes so that's what I'm using it mostly for. I can also use it for I also use it for um, watering flowers or other plants that we don't eat or um, flush you can use it for flushing the toilet it's not as um, I don't prefer that as much as using it for the other two uses that I mentioned um, so yeah, I'm not saying hi to the camera because I'm feeling sick and I don't really look my best. So, but those are the two ways that we reuse and we just use any extra um, bottles that we have, larger bottles. So I've been using gallon milk jugs or half gallon. And then um, th these are really nice. These big tea jugs that you can get at stores. And then I'll also, we also just use the last of our laundry detergent container, so that can hold a lot of water, so we'll probably use that too in the future. So just a, ways, a few ways that we reuse the water that the reverse osmosis purifier discards. Alright, thanks for watching.